Hi, I'm Ton Allen Rose. I'm the editor of CPA Magazine, and we're here live at the Florida Accounting Show. I'm going to talk a little bit with Chris Marino, who has her own firm here in Florida, about her experiences in her tax practice, tax and CPA practice. I understand you're also an attorney, right, Chris? And about the technology that's helped her and about what she looks forward to this next year. Chris, take it away. Well, you know, the most important thing today in the emerging market of technology is to have somebody who spends the resources and time analyzing what's out there. That really does streamline the process for us. With CPA Magazine, you have an opportunity to get periodic reports on an unbiased perspective of what's out there in the market. It streamlines my time trying to analyze what's out there, as well as providing valuable insight from a professional standpoint in areas which normally you wouldn't have the opportunity to pursue. Terrific. And as an attorney and a practitioner, what's your specialty in your practice, Chris? Oh, well, I do primarily 1031 exchanges, but my practice over the years has evolved more towards investment planning for individuals and uh, working on cost segregation plans for commercial properties and, and for commercial property owners. With the slowdown in the real estate sales market, there's more and more need to try and enable our heavy real estate investors to try and maximize the depreciation that's being faced with them. And, and instead of taking out over 39 years, maybe recharacterize some of that and take it out over a five-year period or seven-year period or 15-year period, thereby enabling our clients to maximize their, their returns and minimize the uh, negative impact of this down market. Interesting. And as an attorney, is there an advantage of having privileged communication when it comes to IRS audit time? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, every bit of support helps, but that's why it's important not just to know uh, the communications with other professionals, but to know what's out there in the market. The growing emergence of, let's say, cost segregation reports, you know, and, and how that is now being incorporated and used since 2004 as a standard area of practice is something that generally the sole practitioner may not be knowledgeable with. But with CPA Magazine, you hit on these topics and you get to know on a more national level what's being accepted when you go into audits to help facilitate your client and streamline the process. Terrific. And is there any particular technology that's helped you during this past season in your CPA practice? Hmm. <laughs> well, the the technology, I would say, or whether not tax yet. Prep, tax planning. What what industry? has helped in the technology field is that it has taught me not to go out and buy right now and to hold off a little bit before we invest the extra money until all the bugs get worked out. You know Terrific. whether or not we need to use dual processes or processors in, in computers at this point we've decided to hold off because of, of the problems with compatibility with some of the existing software so it did help us save an initial investment by not investing at this point and what has happened now is that the technology prices have come down so we've saved almost at least one-third of the initial investment cost so when we do make that initial investment we'll be able to get more bang for our buck terrific Thank you very much. That's Chris Marino, CPA and attorney, right here at the Florida Accounting Show. Thanks, Thank Chris. You. Thank you.